All right, third graders, today we're going to talk about a key, the key or the legend. And that's one of the things included on all maps. So let's talk about a key. A key uses symbols. A symbol is just something to represent something else. It could be pictures, short words, letters. Look at these symbols. These symbols or icons have meaning and people know them well. Which one is stop? Right, this one. What is play? The triangle. It's used on dishwashers, on the TV remote, on a lot of different things. These are symbols. What does this symbol mean? Pause, you got it. We see symbols all over and people know exactly what they mean just by the picture that they see. Here's some common symbols that you would see. All right, now why do we use symbols on a map? Well, we use symbols to make maps easier to read. The symbols on the map are called the key or the legend. All right, let's look at some maps to see if we can figure out what the symbols mean on the map. Okay, here I see a symbol. Hmm, it's on the edge of the water. I see another one over here and over here but there's none on the inside. What could these be? Think about it. Look, ooh, I see this symbol. What could this mean? See, ooh, what does this symbol mean? Are you thinking and activating your brain? All right, let me show you. Here's the key. And if you look, this was a lighthouse. These are the lighthouses up here. Right, you can see right here, these were a windmill. Oh, when I first started seeing that map, I was thinking railroad crossing, but I guess there's no other path. So I was wrong on my first thought. And you can look, there are all sorts of different things on this key or legend. Let's keep going. Why do we need a map key? Because it tells us what the symbols mean. If I look at this map without a key, I would just think it's colorful, but maybe I'm hot and I wanna to go to the beach. Where am I gonna go? Where's the beach that I could swim at? If I look over here, it says beach. The beach is yellow, it's right here, okay? If I wanted to take the ferry somewhere or the road, I can see where they go. The ferry is down here. And if I get off the ferry, then I know where the road goes all around the island. If I don't want to fall off a cliff and I'm scared of cliffs, I'm going to stay away from what color? You got it, purple. So that gives us a good idea why we need symbols. Here's another colorful map. I look at the title of the map and it says, this is the average wind speed in Utah. So if I'm going to go visit somewhere in Utah, I can see about what the average speed is looking at the key or the legend. Oh, and here is a scale. We haven't got to those yet, but that's gonna be on here. All right, here are just some other examples of the key or legend that people have used. Notice they're just small, simple pictures or icons. Sometimes they're just a dot or an open dot, or people use colors. What we're going to do today is in your packet, we're going to find this one. The symbols on a map are called the, you got it, key, key or my favorite word, legend. And what we're going to do is we're First, going to answer these questions, true, which means correct, and false. Now, we're going to have to use the legend to tell us what these symbol means. All right, let's look. The shopping center is on Main Street. Let's look over here. This is the shopping center. All right, let's find it. Here's the shopping center. Here's Main Street. Is the shopping center on Main Street? It is. That's True. Three bridges cross Bard River. Okay, look over here. Here's the bridge. Okay, three bridges. Here's 
one bridge. Here's two bridges. I don't see another one. That's not right. Only two. That is false. A railroad track runs west of Bard River. All right. Think of your compass. Never be shredded wheat. This way is west. Is the railroad track west of Bard River? West. It is. If we're up here, it's definitely west. That's true. The park is northwest of the school. Okay, here's north. So northwest would be going this way. Okay, the park is northwest of the school. So here's the school. Is the park northwest? Here's northwest. I'm going northwest. Shoot, I forgot to look. Where is the park? The park is up here. The park is the trees. Here's the park. Is it northwest of the school? No, it is not. That is false. Okay, here comes the fun part. Grab your markers and crayons or whatever one you want to do it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to think of symbols. And we're going to use those symbols to draw on our map up here. This is going to be our legend. So you are going to think of a little icon for a traffic light. Hmm, you do not have to do the same one that I choose. I'm just going to do, hmm, a little square like that with three dots. Now I'm going to put my icon or symbol into my map. Hmm, would I put a traffic light up here right in the middle of nothing? No, a traffic light usually goes on a street. So here's the roads. Now, would a traffic light be in the middle of the street? No, that would be weird. Usually it goes on an intersection. So find an intersection where you would like to put your symbol and add it there. You can add more than one if you want. You are also going to add a symbol for the library, a symbol for a pet shop. Ooh, that one's fun. A symbol for a playground, a symbol for a hospital, house, and a gas station. Once you have all of your symbols, you are going to add them to the map above. Have fun. See you later. Map skills are important.